So here we go, it's your man, Mr. Music, DJ Inferno. We got a special guest, Jay Farrell, talking about private property coming out today on digital and everywhere else in selected theaters. Now, I got to ask you, man, first thing I got to ask you, you play in the role of Richard, uh -huh. and they talk about Richard as a Hollywood figure, uh -huh. and, he, and he's a producer. Now, when you look at the script, it's kind of like you in real life. So I got <laughs> to so know, like, what's going through your head as you're actually reading the script in, in the storyline? Um, what was going through my head was, all right, first of all, you, you always look at a character and um, you want to be able to read a script and predict the next line without actually reading, you know, what I'm without having to go before you get there. So mm -hmm. if I could read, if I can, if I could read a script and um, I, I'm, I'm bobbing with the character and it's like, I'm, I know exactly where it's going. I'm like, first of all, I can play this role. You know what I mean? Got to be able to do that. Second, it's like, okay, who's the love interest? Okay, that's okay. It's Ashley Benson. Word. Okay, beautiful lady. This what does it make sense? Does it make sense for me? I was like, okay, this 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 makes sense. I mean, you had um a a a, a, a John, what's it? John D. Washington. He did that uh, movie with Zendaya. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it was like it, it the character kind of to me was uh, it was a little similar to that, but toned down just a little bit. And um, to be able to play that line, I was like, all right, cool, let's do that. And then what's the payoff? What's the payoff going to be at the end? All right. Does does she get you know, what I mean, well, what happens to her? How does how does she triumph? And with all of those constituents, man, I said, you know what? I can go ahead and I think I can I can service this role and I can do it justice. And um, as far as it being uh, similar to me, I mean, you know, I am a producer and an investor and all of this now, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. So uh, yes, baby, it is Jay Farrell, but I ain't Richard, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, you're not gonna call me Dick, you know, cause that's what Richard mean, Richard mean Dick, you know? And <laughs> in the movie, he's actually a dick to the girl, you know what sure. I'm saying? Because he's so, he's so gun ho on trying to make it and trying to, trying to assert himself and get and, and, and get to that place in Hollywood, that higher place, you feel me? So I thought that was a fun, that was fun to play, man. And um, I just think everybody is fantastic. Everybody's fantastic in the movie. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. You got I, I definitely enjoyed it. Now, before I pass over to DJ Inferno, what was it like working with Ashley Benson? You know, cause you're playing, a, a, you're stuck in a marriage when you're, you're playing right. your part. So it's like, what was, what, what, what was this chemistry like? It was hard not to look at her. <laughs> because you know in, in in my character it's like she's there's points where she got her legs up there's points where she's got on lingerie like i i like lingerie i like seeing women in lingerie like especially especially some thigh highs are you kidding me that looked amazing but i had to play it so it was hard to to not get distracted but so professional she's so talented and um you know I think she, I think she does a, she does a great job, bro. It was, it was always amicable. Um, I felt like, I felt like our characters were supposed to be, they were supposed to be disconnected. And then at the end, kind of, kind of like, you know, he's starting to pay attention just a little bit more to her. And, um, you know, that's what, that's, I mean, that's definitely what the goal is. So it was just a beautiful experience, man. And um, hopefully I can uh, play with her again only, <laughs> somebody who's not disconnected as her partner you feel me <laughs> right 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 get the hugs in and all of that you know what i mean so, no doubt now pass that over to you dj inferno man so watching this movie i watched a lot of other things that you've been on of course your stand-ups and things of that nature snl it's like how like i still gotta ask like this role as far as what we know of jay farrell is right I don't want to say complete opposite, but it's different from what we normally see you in. Like you usually the loud and flamboyant cracking jokes or the subtle, sly, slick remark guy. And now you like the big boss and don't care about nothing and nobody but yourself. So how how did it feel playing that opposite of all the other stuff that you other done? Is that one of the reasons why you took the role? Absolutely because it, it's so different than what you're used to seeing me as. Um, and a lot of people don't know this, man, but you know, I've been in theater since I was eight years old. You know what I mean? So the dramatic chops are just something 
that um, that I have to roll out strategically because like you're saying, most people are used to seeing me be the funny guy. They're used to me uh, going into character. They, they're used to me wisecracking and all of that. So to be able to play a character on a large scale and, and show people that, man, I just, I, like, that's what I love, dude. Because like the world has only seen a tip of the iceberg of Jay Farrell. There's just, there's, there's so many different levels, but people might not be used to seeing those levels and everything because all the things that I do do and the, the clips that do go viral, it's like an impression clip or something like that. Like that will have a million hits or this will have 50 million, but none of my acting joints have, have hit that yet. Well, people, I think people just need to catch up. And when they do catch up, I think they're finally gonna understand uh, what it is. And even you talk stand up, bro. Like, look, I, the last time I did a special was 2014. That's the last yeah. time I taped one. I am not the same comedian anymore. It's like, there's more confidence, there's more experiences, there's, um, there's um, more perspective, and there's just more realness. And I've just learned to just be real with people and just be honest about honest about whatever it is, you know. And um, honestly, I'm a pretty good damn dramatic actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely feel that you definitely played played the part, and it's it's surprising that you took the role. But now I, I get exactly why you took the role. So yeah, now man. that you're you know you're in this plan, it sounds like you got a plan to roll out things about what you really are, what you're really about, your experiences, and, you know, the well-rounded Jay Farrell, because we're used, like you said, we're used to seeing one side. So mm -hmm. in the next five years, what do you got coming up? What's in the future? What's the plan? What's the goal, man? Man, check us out, man. It's, look, God has already ignited my path. I, I have, uh, I got, <laughs> I could talk about it. Well, this movie's dropping. Um, I believe I did a, a biopic called Spinning Gold, probably changing the name uh, to PS203, whatever what, whatever they decide to call it. But it's the Motown Records, Buddha Records biopic. I play Cecil Holmes in that. That's another, <laughs> dude, that's another, that's another cat. It's, it's a, it's some real, it's a real dramatic piece of work, but it's, it's beautiful, bro. That's coming out. Um, I, I work with Tim Story. I got a, I got a movie with him coming out. I mean, I'm in the, with Sin, my boy Sinquaz in it, you know, Jermaine Fowler, everybody is in it, man. And it's, it's, that's another one, but I'm, I get to be funny in that one. You know what I mean? Whatever. I get to be funny. <laughs> um, what else do I got coming out? I did a movie with Anderson Pock, uh, 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 her ice cube and, um, uh, uh, Meryl Streep. And I believe that should be coming out at the end of the year, dude, the movie I just shot with comedy central and uh, paramount, that movie is about to drop uh, at the end of this year. So I'm just trying to flood you with everything I can do. Hey, and I plan to shoot another special at the end of this, like toward the end of the summer. So, you know, bruh, blazing saddle. And I got music to drop on you bitches. You understand? <laughs> I just, I just needed a way to chip that Jay Farrow block away and, I'm I'm seeming I'm sowing myself into the Ameri American psych. You know what I mean? I'm just sowing slowly but surely. I'm doing it. But I think that this year it's just gonna be a lot happening. And I'm so thankful for it, man. And um, I'm an entertainer at the end of the day. You can't call, you wanna call me something, bro. Enter he's an entertainer, bro, because you can't box me and put me in one category. Like you Jamie Foxx type type stuff. And that's somebody whose path that I, I, I watch and I would be like, that's that's something I want to have similar to that. You feel me? So and shout out to Jamie. I'm yo, know, shout out to Mr. Fox. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you do your day Chappelle, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So so just don't be running on stage slapping nobody. We'll we'll hey, you, you can, but I got I, I took taekwondo, so I, I I'll kick you. <laughs> I got one good kick. After that, security need to get them. I got one kick. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Pow! Just kick them right off the stage. Charlie Murphy, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, man, it sounds like you got a lot going on. You know, thank you for taking the time out to interview with us. If you could, 
if you can give us a drop, just saying this is Jay Farrell. You are plugged in with the Plug XL. Okay, cool. Yo, what's going on, man? This is Jay Farrell, and you are plugged in with the Plug XL. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you for your time, Jay. Appreciate it. Love no the doubt, movie, brother. private property out today, man. Let's go. Thanks, Adam and Jennifer C. 